Hi, my name is Rebecca Echampon, but everyone calls me Becca, and I'm your guest presenter for today. Now in the hot seat, we have a lovely, lovely lady, a musician who's known for her music talent as much as her stage presence. Now when we come back, we will be chatting with Becca. Ms. Becca, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Great. Now today, I have a lot of questions for you. The first one will be this. You are referred to as one of the most disciplined artists in the Ghana music industry. But we also have known you to be a bit of a wild child way, way before you started your career. How did this transformation happen? It depends on what you classify as wild child. Yes, I was a wild child because I know what I wanted and I was going to get it. And so I do not know what people are talking about when they say wild child. Now, speaking of home, your father speaks highly of your achievements as a musician now, but he wasn't too pleased in the beginning. What made him change his mind? You, you're certainly right. My father in the beginning wasn't too happy about what I was going to do in music because I think people have in their minds that being a musician, be a singer or whatever in the industry, an actor, whatever, it means that you have to be doing drugs and doing going out and chilling all the time. But I think that after a while when he saw that what I wanted to do was actually a good thing for me because I enjoyed doing it and I really wanted to do it, he came around and um, he actually appreciates what I'm doing right now. Aside that, I understood where I was coming from and what I wanted to do so he had no choice but to let me too <laughs> yeah okay let's go to the next question then there have been other rumors concerning you being involved with Samini and Trigmatic now if you were to pick one of them truthfully who would it be um, I would date Samini Trigmatic <laughs> Satrig <laughs> Now speaking about you, if you could change anything about your appearance, what would it be? I wouldn't change anything. That's a very easy question. I appreciate what God has given me. I do not obviously have everything, but I have all that I need. And so that is, I wouldn't change anything at all. And Miss Becca, have you had your hat booking before? Yes, I have. All I know is that it was very painful. <laughs> You know, heartbreak is the kind of pain that you can express. Mm. It's so painful, like it pierces through your heart. And it's better for, I think, I don't know, I've not been stabbed before, but I think that it's much more painful than a stab wound, stabbed wound. So yeah, Mary, yeah, I have been. And I did cry, yes, I did. Okay. Aww. What is the worst <laughs> way you've ever, ever broken up with someone? Be honest. Oh hmm. my God, <laughs> no way. <laughs> um, I know what it is. I'm just trying to tone it down so I don't sound like I'm a bad person because I'm not. I'm a very good person. Um, but I'll tell you the truth. Um, I just did not pick his calls again. Yeah. <laughs> We're moving on to the next session now and this is Truth and Dare. So I'm gonna ask you the questions and what you're going to do is answer them honestly and we're gonna tell you what to do when it comes to the dare part, okay? So, Miss Becca, truth. Half coat or dark skinned? Dark skinned. Guy. Tall or short? In between. Slim or chubby? In between. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Where did you lose your virginity? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> who told you I'm not a virgin? <laughs> you know, please. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let this one slide. Let's let's move on. Let's move on. Describe your first kiss. Very puppyish, very like um, childish, Sweet. and I don't think it, we actually knew what we we're doing. Actually, yeah. 
<laughs> Have you ever kissed a girl? No. Are you sure? Definitely not. <laughs> okay. How many people have you said I love you to? My father, my mother, my sister's brothers, mm -hmm. uncles, aunties, boyfriend, cousins. Uh, over a hundred. Romantically. <laughs> <laughs> um, about three. Okay, Ms. V. We're moving to dare. Or the dare. Back like a dog. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little dog. <laughs> Do an evil, spooky laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Recite a nursery rhyme. I ring, I ring a roses, a bucket full of roses, a tissue, a tissue. We all fall down. Okay, what did you mean by them? <laughs> <laughs> First, Impressions. Now I'm gonna say a word. Don't think about it. See the first thing that comes into your head. Spill it out. Stupid. Boy. Cheat. Men. <laughs> Party. Wild. Food. Fufu. Old. Young. Car. Posh. Clothes. Peachy pear. Slap you. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Okay, go on. Fat. Slim. Skinny. Skinnier. <laughs> One love. Kubolo. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Now, it is really true that time flies when you're having fun. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had a wonderful time with Miss Becca. And thank you all so much for watching this wonderful program. Yeah, yeah, yeah.